step aside Duolingo for the first time ever I think we have an actual tangible example of a software as a service company built on top of GPT-4 that has completely replaced a job. The disruption in this industry is insane and I think language learning and language tutoring may become a thing of the past by human tutors if this technology advances at the rate that I think it's going to go. So what am I talking about here? Well, I'm going to Italy for a couple weeks and I thought it'd be nice that before I go, I learned some you know, basic conversational Italian, just a hello here, a goodbye there, a can I get a coffee here, just to you know, help me navigate around the day-to-day -day life and chat with the locals. But if you're trying to learn a new language online, there are a couple options available for you. So the first one we all know as Duolingo. We all know that Duolingo is a very easy way, you know, very low barrier to entry, getting into learning a new language. The way that they've gamified the aspect of learning different conversational skills and, you know, different words in another language that you want to use, that's really just made it easy for a lot of people who otherwise wouldn't learn a new language to learn those basic conversational skills. Then of course, the second one, you can actually go and hire a language tutor online, somebody to give you private tutoring over the internet for the basic conversational skills that you would need to operate within that language. And both both of these options up until this point were the way to go that you could either do it low barrier to entry you know a little bit of a game or if you really are hardcore about learning this new language you actually go and hire someone but now there's a third option if you've been around YouTube for a while you've probably heard of the youtuber Xiaoma NYC and if you don't recognize him by name you have probably more so to recognize him by the white guy surprising Chinese people by speaking their language or actually at this point white guy speaking any other language and surprising whoever speaks that language. What we find in all these situations is that most of the people, when you start speaking their language, they get a lot more friendly, you know, they get a lot more at ease because you're speaking their language. And he teamed up with the team of developers to build a tool on top of GPT-4. I love the aspect of learning new languages. And when I had the opportunity to get beta access to Xiaoma NYC's Your Teacher AI, which is an AI online tool built on top of ChatGPT's APIs that will help you learn new languages and have basic conversational skills without having a human tutor involved, I had to be interested. I love AI tools and especially within the realm of language learning, I had to test this out for myself. How good is it? How does it actually compare to a tool like Duolingo? How does it compare to a tool like, you know, just having a real person there to teach you that language? I was curious. So for one month, I decided that before my trip, I would use this tool and this tool alone to learn some Italian, and the results are pretty surprising. Now, although the tool is on the little bit more of the expensive side for the state it's currently in, the fact that you can get beta access to it for that price was something that I had to jump on top of. And when I started learning some Italian, I had never heard Italian in my life, I'd never spoken Italian in my life, other than, you know, mimicking Brad Pitt's Arrivederci from Inglorious Bastards, but that's not basic Italian, that's just butchering a language. Arrivederci. That being said, when I started this, I had never spoken Italian before in my life. I was a complete beginner, I didn't know anything, and rather than learning the basics of Italian, I just wanted to learn conversational skills that I could use in my day-to-day -day Italy travels. And that's exactly what this AI helped me do. So when I bought the license for this tool, I actually got access to the Discord server, which had Jama NYC and all the developers and mods that he had helping him run this tool. So I asked him the first day, I said, hey, what are some of the best practices? What should I know to best better my experience for this tool? And the advice was pretty straightforward. Because it's built on top of GPT-4, which powers the higher tier version of ChatGPT, just talk to it like a person. And that's exactly what I did. What's cool about the AI tool is because it's meant to mimic an actual human language tutor, I actually was able to learn at my own pace. The things that I was interested in, the basic, you know, introducing myself, ordering something at a restaurant, asking for a table for three, asking for directions, where's the train station, um, talking about how I'm learning Italian so I can actually travel. Sto imparando l'italiano per viaggiare might have butchered that, but apparently the AI says that that's similar to how people say it, so I'm taking that at face value. Buena sera. Posso avere un tablo per tre, per favore? Sure, Josh. Start by saying buona sera. Posso avere un tablo per due? Per favore. Once you're seated, you can say. Posso vedere il menu? Per favore. Essentially though, this is exactly what I was hoping for. I wanted to know how to role play in that Italian situation so that when I'm in an Italian diner or restaurant and I, I can order things in basic conversational Italian. So let's try this from the top and I will use my knowledge that I've already learned from the basics of uh, learning Italian, specifically when it comes to ordering food to uh, order this. Buonasera, posso avere un tavolo per tre, per favore? Almost there, Josh. 
It should be buonasera. Posso avere un tavolo per tre? Per favore. Call duty RY again. Please. And that's the cool thing too. It actually corrects you. It doesn't always stick with the conversation you're actively having, but it will always try and correct something that you've had in the conversation you've had with it. In that case, I said buona sera, posso vere? I didn't say the A, it was written, no, there was no avere, it was vere. So obviously I, I would have misspoken there um, and it corrected me on that. So let's give it another try. Buona sera, posso avere un tavolo per tre, per favore? Buona sera, Josh. Yes, of course. Ecco il vostro tavolo. Cosa volete mangiare? So in my situation, I don't know what that means. I actually don't know what that means in English. But the cool thing about this AI tutor is it swaps interchangeably. Ottimo, Josh. Now, how would you ask for the menu in Italian? Well, that's a rough one. I uh, actually don't remember how to ask for a menu in Italian. Uh, il conto is the bill uh, or the check. Um, I know how to ask for a table, that's tavolo, um, but menu, oh, I can't remember what that one was. Uh, what is menu in Italian again? The word for menu in Italian is menu. So, can uno si de menu? Please, would be, posso vedere il menu? Per favore, could you please TRY saying that? Josh. Posso vedere il menu, per favore? That, that didn't sound ben fatto. bad. Let's go. Josh. Learned a new phrase. Posso vedere un... Posso vedere... Posso vedere il menu, per favore? Posso vedere il menu, per favore? For me personally, it takes you usually two days to actually learn a phrase. I spend the first day just memorizing it, and then I spend the second day just mumbling it to myself. You know, I'll be walking my car to go to work, and I'll be like, posso avere un tavolo per tre, per favore? I apologize to any of my Italian viewers out there who are watching me uh, butcher their language. I am honestly trying to learn, and I've only been learning for a month, but the basic phrases that should get me around, that's just what I can hope for. Now, what's cool about this is because it's actually powered by GPT-4, all of the tricks that I've used to actually write perfect ChatGPT prompts can be used in the exact same way for this. So if you haven't seen my video where I talk about how to craft the perfect ChatGPT prompt, this would also work equally as well for this one. Throughout the course of me doing this, I of course encountered lots of bugs. It's in beta access right now. They are still testing things out and trying them out, and they have many, many languages to go and debug. You can learn a multitude of languages, all the way from Italian to Portuguese to French, Spanish, German, and English. So although this tool is not quite ready to replace human language tutors yet, it begs the question of what I've talked about in previous videos is that AI is going to supplement these jobs, not replace them. Of course, if you wanted to learn from a human, that would be far more effective than learning from this tool. But consider this, although I paid 300 US dollars for this for a 12 month license, it actually runs 24 seven. It runs 24 seven, it doesn't have a scheduled curriculum. It learns what I wanna learn and teaches me the way I wanna be taught. So as the tool continues to develop, you know, as they iron out the wrinkles and work out all the bugs, it's gonna continue to progress to a point where it could potentially one day replace a human language tutor, but it can't yet. But the benefits now of having this in its beta stage is that it runs 24 seven. You don't have to wait for it on your time. And of course, there were certain situations there when I was having a conversation with it where it would go completely off the rails. But I'm sure that's not the end goal with this product. The end goal of this product might be something that Duolingo potentially would want to acquire because Duolingo is a low barrier entry to language learning. This a little bit more higher stakes, you know, it's not the most intuitive thing to use because you might have to re-steer it back on the right track after you know it goes a little bit off the rails. But other than that, it actually learns pretty well and it teaches pretty well. And as the tools that OpenAI continues to develop continue to improve, when we eventually get a GPT-5, boy, what are we gonna see then? So all things considered, I give this tool a six out of 10, which I would say is pretty good for having a tool that's only been out for like, what, one month now? Can you imagine it in a year's time? It still has some bugs and the AI tool will not always stick to the script. You know, your teacher may go completely off script and go into a whole conversation that you had five hours prior, but that portion of it is to be expected. It's an early stage tool, but it actually teaches me pretty well. I've been able to learn some basic phrases and they've had to uh, correct my pronunciation of things a few times, but all in all, I'm learning the basic Italian phrases on my schedule, on my time at a rate that I am comfortable with. 
that's something that cannot always be said for other AI tools that are continuing to try and learn and teach you languages. This is something that is a new entry to the market, and I think that it is a very promising future, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Josh, and as always, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around and see more of the content I produce. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.